Can the U.S. strike Iran's Fordow nuclear facility? President Trump is hesitating, and the reasons are clear. Tensions are escalating, and the challenges are immense. Let's explore why this underground fortress is nearly impenetrable, and why nuclear weapons are not an option. Fordow, Iran's heavily fortified nuclear enrichment site, lies 90 meters beneath a granite mountain near Qom. The U.S. possesses the GBU-57, a massive bunker-busting bomb. But here's the issue. The GBU-57 can only penetrate about 60 meters under ideal conditions. Fordow's location, near a granite mountain range with high-density PSI rock, could further reduce the bomb's penetration effectiveness. To hope to destroy the deep enrichment halls below, the U.S. would need to drop three to four bombs precisely on the same spot. Each additional bomb only increases depth by 20 to 30 percent, with effectiveness likely plateauing after the fourth. This is clearly challenging. The first explosion would create a massive cloud of dust and debris, obscuring the target and making subsequent bombs less accurate. Not to mention, Fordow may be protected by ultra-high-performance concrete, blast-proof ceilings, and shock-resistant air shafts. The only reliable way to destroy Fordow is with a tactical nuclear warhead, something Trump will never do, as it could pave the way for Russia to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Trump is holding off on an attack, hoping the threat alone will force Iran to negotiate. The GBU-57 could cause damage, but is unlikely to guarantee Fordow's destruction. A failed strike risks escalating tensions without neutralizing the threat. By ruling out nuclear weapons and delaying an attack, Trump is playing a high-stakes game of pressure, not destruction. But with Fordow's near-invincibility, can diplomacy prevail?